Uh, hello again, Sentinel 6 Gaming here, and uh, I'm recording this video. This is my third try at this. It's really, perhaps, was being weird. I had like plenty of FPS, really a lot, and then it didn't matter how low my settings were, it would always go to 5 when I started up. But I made three uh, Black Ops 2 score streaks in Minecraft. Uh, two are pretty simple, the other one is a bit more difficult, still not really difficult. And I'm gonna explain them to you, so I'm gonna show them to you. So, um, got the care package, the rolling thunder, and the guardian. So, I'm gonna start with the care package. So, this is fairly simple. Hopper clocks, are, I use a lot. They're very fast to check. It's basically, it's trying to clear the map. So, when I right click the map, it, it, it's a very often used mechanism. So, this is the used map, actually the map of something. So, when I right click this, it will activate this and su summon a falling sand with the tower ID of the chest which is the middle I'll scroll to the actual command more so uh, just wait, uh, wait let me scroll back so falling sand 20 above the command block tower ID 54 which is uh, chest time 1 so that it doesn't immediately disappear all commands will be in the description below Tower entity data, which is the items that are in there. So uh, I can actually have random items generated in there. For the now, I just had ammo. So um, let's uh, let's test it out. So it will appear there. It will clear from my inventory and boof, ammo. And it's very basic. I can show it again. So it's just as soon as it's changed in the that map, it will uh, activate this comparator and. Wait just a minute, actually I should show it why you can actually see that, so it will activate that. And because <laughs> there's already a chest it will break. And it will uh, clear the the uh, object, so it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. This is a really, really ugly helicopter, please ignore that. <laughs> The, uh, however, I think this one's even simpler. It's, it just summons a lot of TNT in a row. If you don't know what the Rolling Thunder is, it's basically it just flies over and drops a lot of bombs in a row, which will explode. Like, well, they explode because they're bombs, so they just go by and explode and all that kind of stuff. I'll just show it here. So they all drop. They all, uh, so they don't immediately explode. Uh, that would require some more time with the fuse. And basically what I did is at the end it, did, it doesn't drop one but four TNT at the exact same position for a bit more of ending bang. And you can use the many times as you want and basically it won't mine down so totally destroying it here. But you can get the ID maybe. I didn't like build a giant plane just for aesthetics here. But uh, you can get the ID. So I'll show the command. Uh, all of the commands are pretty much, except for the coordinates, all the same. So it's summon prime TNT with a fuse of 150. So yeah, that's pretty uh, simple actually. It's still fun. So yeah, I guess we'll go on to the Guardian. So this system is automatic running. I don't have anything uh, to do anything to activate this. So Guardian basically in the Call of Duty is it's like since this heat wave or ray or anything it damages you slowly kills you and it makes you walk slower and like blur sufficient so how I simulated that here if I go and walk in front of it I will get slowness blindness nausea and poison but because I'm in creative I won't actually get poison oh wait it's kinda screwing up right now wait just a minute just gonna get close to it and there we go so what if I oh if I go into the menu with a like all oh. yeah I shouldn't have gone into the menu there oh and you will see I am taking now <laughs> now taking damage because I'm walking towards it I might have to give you a higher form of poison but I'll show you how it works so I've got two running so um hop clock with the test four command. Which is testing so for someone um, within basically this radius in front of it. And um, that will activate this and this comparator. So this comparator will activate this so that it will um, uh, unlock this one so it can actually activate. So comparators don't 
go off until you go uh, outside but then it would only work for one person now many persons can walk in there and they will all get the effects so yeah this basically lets it activate and then immediately deactivates it that's all and uh, that's for command then it will just g basically give you all the potion effects here War six nines which basically gives you infinite potion effects and then when it deactivates again um, the which it does when you walk out it will clear your effects so that they actually go away like so like this and now if I go walk this way they will uh, disappear so I stand here then gone that's basically how it works um, oh wait uh, I still got all the effects <laughs> wait just a minute if you walk through repeatedly I think it just messed up a little but um, yeah the guardian just take my effects please uh, I don't care but um, yeah that's basically all I have to tell um, I basically used the summon command, effect command, test for is really a great command, I really like it and you can summon the capex from wherever you are but it will only drop there because of the summon command I don't know, I just really like seeing that dropping but um, that was, was it for this video I hope I get rid of the slowness and uh, goodbye